Hi everyone. Good to see you on my channel today. Today I will tell you a wonderful story. It is full of love and kindness. I hope you enjoy it and I wish you an enjoyable viewing experience. Thank you. John was sitting in his office, daydreaming about being called in by his boss. Just yesterday, everyone had learned that the head of a major department was retiring. It was a position everyone was dreaming of now, but John knew he had to be the one to get the job. Hello, there's a young man here at the big firm. Have a seat. The man at the big desk was already tired. Today, it was the fifth person who came for an interview. Here are my education documents, all the certificates. John spread out the papers on the table. Thank you. Tell me, how do you feel about the fact that you will often have to stay late? This was the main question, because for eight working hours, it was unrealistic to manage everything. So the contract stipulated irregular working hours, and even though the employees knew about it and signed it, they started talking about their rights when they had to stay. It's okay, I'm ready for it. John was willing to do anything to get him here. Good, we will consider you, he promised him, as he had promised all the previous supervisors. John arrived home where his wife was waiting for him. He didn't let the phone out of his hands. So, are you just going to sit there like that? Selina asked him. I believe that this position will definitely be mine, her husband told her. I believe that too, but there are other things to do until you get the call, she said. Look, I can't think about anything else until I know if it's a yes or a no. He didn't want to quarrel with his wife. So wait, she picked up the rolled up rug and left the apartment. They had been planning a general cleaning for a long time. And now that everything had been stripped off the floors and the closets pushed back, Selina was doing it all alone. At least help with the furniture, she stood by the closet. Selena, can't we leave this for tomorrow? John asked. And if they don't call tomorrow, we'll be sleeping on an air mattress for six months? Indignant wife. They would, he was sure of it. Of course, Selina wanted that too but she didn't think her husband would be so fixated. John was a third-year student when he saw the young girls who had just arrived to enroll. They were standing on the porch, talking. Are you girls going to our university too? He asked them then. Yeah, we're waiting for the lists to be posted. They laughed. You'll get in, don't worry, he passed by. And in the evening, he saw them in the dormitory where he lived. Hi, Selena was sitting on the watch, waiting for someone. The rain ended. The young ones had already talked about everything. It was starting to get dark outside. Let's go, got up from the bench and extended his hand to Selena. Yes, still need to get everything ready, she smiled. Don't leave without me tomorrow. He walked her to the floor and went down to his room. If you want, you can come over in the evening, I'll feed you. She knew that the guys in the dormitory didn't cook much for themselves. Thank you for that. My roommate and I will definitely come. He watched as she reached the room and went. Selena, you said you'd go and ask the janitor about the doormats, and you disappeared somewhere, jumped up a friend and part-time roommate. Come on, Maria. I met such a guy, of course. Selena was not going to wait for John. Everything happened by chance. She made up that version for him to appreciate. The one... They were talking about him when he came up to them on the steps. Yeah, she'd have to make something to serve them now. She looked at the back. Why don't we have a real wedding? John said one winter day. Come on, she was ready for it. Her partner was the most good and reliable, so she did not doubt at all that they will be great. That same evening, the girl called her parents, told them about the proposal John had made to her. He informed his own, too. They didn't have many friends. So Selena took Maria and John Evan, parents arrived. The wedding was quiet. Congratulations, the bride's father handed them the keys. Dad, what's this? The girl didn't understand. The apartment, your apartment, he told her. Are you kidding? She couldn't believe it. Why? We talked to the matchmakers, took a loan, but now you have your own nest. He did not hide anything. Thank you. She looked at her friends. 
Now she and John had an apartment, which they were happy about. Everything in this family was going well. Selena was still studying, and John needed a job to bring in some income for the family. Did you find anything? His wife asked him at home. No, it had been almost a year since he had finished his education, but no one had found a job. Why? She wondered, because she knew there were plenty of vacancies. I don't want to spread myself thin, I dream to find such a job that once and for the rest of my life, with a high and stable income, he reasoned. You are so self-confident. The girl shook her head. What's the big deal if a person wants to go where it's good, he wondered. No, it's just that first you should go, work, prove yourself, show yourself, she advised. No, I don't want to do that. He showed that the conversation was over. All right, do as you please, but don't forget to pay the rent. Selena often sent money from her father. I think I found the exact same thing when John came home. So, when are you gonna go? Selena didn't believe her husband would ever get a job. Tomorrow, just have to be well prepared. He collected all his documents. Good luck. The wife went to the kitchen. Thank you. He believed he'd be hired. He'd do everything but chew his way out. And so, he sits in the office, across from the boss, whom John is a little afraid of. All the paperwork's in order, and they tell him they'll call him when a decision has been made. John knew that's what they usually said when a candidate wasn't a good fit. He decided not to argue yet, but to wait. If he didn't get a call, he would go again. John, the phone, Selena shouted. It was late. The young man had gone to take a shower. Quickly, he pulled his hand out of the bathroom. There, Selena ran up to him. Hello, the wife heard, and then her husband disappeared behind the doors. And what did they tell you? He stepped out, towel hanging on his hips. Selena, congratulate me. He raised his hands and began to smile. No way, it means he didn't wait for nothing. She rejoiced with her husband. Well, everything. Now we will have everything and happiness and love and money. He looked at his beloved. The next day, he pulled out a new suit he bought long ago from the closet, waiting to be worn. Selena had ironed everything and John was ready. Bye, he shouted and walked out. Selena packed up and went to her studies. She was sure now that she had chosen just the right man for her life. Until recently, the girl took money for things and everything else from her father. Perhaps now her husband would be able to provide for her properly. Here in this office you will sit, guided him around the building by the girl who was supposed to be his boss. Thank you. John was afraid of what he might let down and be fired or reprimanded. He took his seat. The man knew a lot of things. When he was shown and told what he had to do, there was hardly any difficulty after that. So, how was work? Selena asked. It was fine, he was working on paperwork at home too. Well, I won't bother, Selena had a little time left before graduation. She was studying for her exams, writing her thesis. Selena asked John for help, but he said he didn't have time. Selena realized that now all her husband's time was taken up by work. She suffered from it, but she didn't show it. Will you go to the prom with me? She asked John when it was over. No, you know I have work, he said. And what? No way at all. She didn't understand how she could miss such an important day in her life. John worked hard, but he didn't bring home as much money as he promised. Selena still had to go to her father. Why is your salary so small? His wife asked him one evening. Be happy that they give me so much, the young man replied. He had changed a lot lately. He kept writing something, bought a safe. He said it was for papers with a lot of valuable information. I don't understand how one can work and not get anything for it. Selena sighed and went to the kitchen. The diploma was in hand. All that was left was to find and get a job. Her father was again not left out. He helped his daughter with this issue. Now Selena was also working. How surprised she was when she received her first paycheck. The amount was more than what her husband brought home. How come? 
She put the money on the coffee table at home and looked at her husband. How should I know? It's the level. He shrugged and went to his room. Selena wasn't angry. She just didn't understand what was happening to the man she loved so much. We have a corporate party tomorrow. They are inviting wives. Are you going? John asked his wife in the evening. Of course, I have a new dress, she rejoiced. Then be ready by seven tomorrow. And he went back to his room. Selena thought that now their relationship would be better. They would go to the party together. And afterwards they would talk, figure things out. She waited for the evening because she wanted to show herself in front of her husband and not only in all her glory. Hi, she opened the door to him in the evening. Wow, he looked at her, admiration in his eyes. I'm ready, she said. Okay, just a minute and I'll be ready too. He strode to the back of the apartment. She took a seat in a chair, waited for her husband and brushed her hair. He, as promised, spent a few minutes in the bathroom, put on his suit and came out to her. Great, she imagined what the two of them looked like together. The couple walked outside. A cab had been called ahead of time. They pulled up to a beautiful building, got out. It was kind of exciting. For some reason, Selena started to worry. It's okay. The people are nice, John assured her. They went inside. Those who were already there noticed the couple. John sat his wife down at the table and went to say hello. He came back rather quickly. Selena didn't have time to do anything. When the rest of the guests arrived, the party started. Fun, Selena shouted in her husband's ear because the music was playing loudly. We'll go home soon, he pointed at his watch. The girl more than once wanted to dance, but John did not let her in, saying that it was indecent. Why? Other people dance. It's all right, she took offense. That's it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. He didn't look at her. That evening they came home early. John changed his clothes and went to his place as he said, to work. I thought we'd spend the evening together she said. We will, but not now. He went out the door. The girl sat down on the couch. She couldn't help but be angry with John. She tried to think of an excuse to come over, but nothing came to mind. So Selena undressed, went to the bathroom, and went to bed. She lay there for a long time, keeping the light on, hoping that her husband would come in. But John, apparently, was busy with other things. Good morning. She entered the kitchen in the morning, but there was no one there. Selena was surprised, made herself some coffee, got dressed, and went to work as well. Before heading out the door, she noticed John's room was ajar. Selena figured he was in there because at other times her husband locked the doors. John. She pushed the door open, but there was no young man inside either. Selena walked in and saw that there was a magazine on the table and a lot of other papers. What's this? She opened the notebook and there were some amounts written down. At first, she thought they were work figures, but then she realized it was her husband's earnings. He wrote how much he received. The next column was officially for his wife. The next column was for spending and the last column was for what was left. Wow, she looked at it and couldn't believe it. The amount he was getting was five times the amount he was bringing home as a paycheck. Selena was angry. She took a picture of what she found. Then she put it back the way it was, shut the doors, and left. Look, why did you talk so bad about your wife? Look how smart and beautiful she is. A friend at work told John. Do you know how much you had to spend at the salon to get her to look like that? Come on, everyone has nothing but good things to say about her. He looked at the others sitting there. What are you guys? She can't cook. She can't cook. She's got no housekeeping skills at all. The young man didn't understand what they all saw in his wife. And most of all, how, because she sat all evening at the table, did not get up anywhere, only when they came and went. Well, you're wrong. Everyone says what a beautiful and clever woman she is, disagreed with his colleague. I heard that her father helps you a lot, said the girl who was present at this conversation. What he helped? Yes, he bought an apartment on credit, pays, 
and gives his daughter, so he is a parent, resented John. It was his most painful topic. Why are you so excited? Now both of you are getting money, especially you. You can afford everything. That morning work was not on his mind at all. John walked home. He didn't understand why he had brought Selena with him in the first place. Now he was so bad and she was good. And then there was the money thing. John couldn't understand why he was so angry with Selena. She hadn't done anything wrong. Yes, she wanted a fur coat and boots, but he couldn't just spend money like that. I'm home, he walked in. And I'm waiting for you. She came out to meet him. What's wrong? He saw Selena tense. She showed him the picture on her phone. You went through my room. He was shocked. Thought since this morning you were in there. The door was open, she admitted. So, what's next? He was waiting to see how this would play out. Nothing. I'm waiting for you to explain why you've kept the proceeds from me for so long, Selena said calmly. I don't want to say anything, he said. Why? She couldn't understand what she had done to make him treat her like that. And you don't understand. I'm saving up, he told her. For what? My wife wondered. That's none of your business, he turned around. Why are you treating me like this? The girl cried. And what did you do to support my authority? He looked back. What? Then I had to support him. Was very surprised Selena. Came to the corporate party in a short dress, walked there, twirling her heel, he began to say to her. What are you saying? I sat next to you. You didn't even let me get up once. Her eyes widened. How can you lie so brazenly? What are you telling me? Today, they told me everything. What a frivolous wife I have. He was not going anywhere. Why did you even take me with you in the first place? You came home. Told me how good I looked. And now it turned out to be completely wrong. She was no longer embarrassed by her tears, just crying. I only saw the picture from the front. If I'd known it was out in the open, I never would have let her go like that. Or maybe I wouldn't have taken her at all. He was getting more and more upset. John, stop. I've always done everything for you, for our family. Ever since you started having money, you've changed a lot. She couldn't believe it. This was their first big fight. What were you doing? All the co-workers are now judging at work. He couldn't stop. In fact, they were judging him for saying different things about his woman. My father has been helping us financially for so many years. You never said we didn't need something. She sat down on the couch and stopped talking. What was there to give? Your father. He wrinkled his nose. At this point, he went to his room. Selena sat looking after him and thought that perhaps it was their time. Love was gone. Only money was left. What do you want to do? She shouted to John. Still undecided, he sat behind closed doors. It seemed to Selena that he was sitting there, like the mole from Tumbelina, counting his savings. She washed her face and went to bed. In the morning, the wife found her husband in the kitchen eating breakfast. Hello, she passed by. I'm leaving. He took a sip of coffee. What? She turned to him. Are you deaf? He sounded kind of cocky. No. Why? She sat down across from him. It's just that I'm tired of being spread out on several fronts. I'll be alone. I'll buy an apartment, a car, to have everything like people. He reasoned as if he had a few million in his pocket. Good, she cried again. It was so frustrating that at first, when there was nothing at all, her father had done everything for them. Later, when something began to appear, the man still did not give up, always helped, sent money. All of John's winter clothes were bought with that money. That's great, that without a quarrel, he got up so proud, went to the room, there was already standing packed back. Where are you going to go? Selina was curious about that. You shouldn't care about that, he replied. Okay, his wife agreed with him. She realized that if John had decided, he could not be changed. He put on his shoes, looked at her, and slammed the door. Happily, she closed the doors behind him. Then she put her back on them, slid to the floor, and began to cry to her heart's content. Why is he so cruel? She asked herself. 
John looked for an apartment to rent in the afternoon. He had called the landlady and made arrangements, so now he knew exactly where he would go. Hello, he approached the entrance. Did you bring the money? The woman asked him. Yes, here, count it. He handed her the bills. That's right, here are the keys. She handed him a bunch. John went up to his apartment. It seemed to him that even breathing became easier. Now he was alone, he didn't have to share money with anyone, buy something and make other expenses. The young man laid out his things, which he didn't have much of, then decided to check his notebook again. He sat and looked at it and couldn't get enough of it. Well, it will not be enough for an apartment, of course, but it is possible to get a used car, he said to himself. After that he got up, went out to the balcony, stood like that, the master of life. The next day John went to work happy. He did not tell anyone that he left his wife, but probably it was not interesting. Now the guy was working. He took part-time jobs, but he couldn't earn much. Hello, haven't you forgotten that the rent is due tomorrow? The landlady called him. Of course not, he pressed his lips together because he didn't want to part with the money. John didn't understand where his finances were going at all. Now he had to buy little things, soap, shampoo, groceries. It turned out it was taking so much money. The four, he didn't see it running out or showing up at all. It was a matter of course. One, two, three, went to his room and started counting out the amount needed, looked at it. The savings were melting away like snow. He was enjoying the life of a loner. At the same moment his wife was suffering, she was crying. Called her husband because neither of them had filed for divorce. He was rude, he didn't want to talk, he didn't want to communicate at all. John, come to your senses. Why did you leave? It wasn't so bad to break up. She choked with sobs into the phone. Stop crying, time will pass, and you will remember this situation with laughter, he told her. I can't. Where can I put the love that I have for you? She didn't believe that just like that you can just take and cut everything off. And for what? For money, which is always in short supply. John just hung up on her. He thought he was right about everything. It seemed to him that he had achieved everything himself. He had studied, found a decent job, and now he could afford everything. He had enough for everything. Selena, sitting at home, thought that her husband had gone crazy with the big money he was getting. Lorik, hi. Where have you been? I haven't seen or heard from you, a friend called her. Maria, I feel so bad. Come over, Selena cried again. Of course, you could have called me yourself. Were you shy? A friend was worried. Come on, hurry up, I'm waiting, Selena hurried her. I'll be right there, Maria hung up the phone. An hour later, the girls were already sitting in the kitchen at Selena's place, complaining about what John had done. I never thought that John was so greedy for money, Maria said when she heard the story. And I, Selena, couldn't hold back her tears again. She sat back and looked at her friend, who was cutting cheese at that moment. Nothing, do not worry, you will find a new man, try to cheer up girlfriend. I still haven't filed for divorce. I believe he'll come back, cried Selena. Is he calling? Maria asked. No, I try to talk, but he ignores. Friends poured wine into glasses. Okay, come on, to our happiness. Maria smiled and raised her glass. Thank you for coming, and most importantly at the right time, stood up, went to her friend and hugged her. It's okay, she patted her shoulder. They sat and talked for a long time, and by evening Selena was not as depressed as she had been at first. Maria decided to stay here for the night. She supported her friend always and everywhere. Good morning. Selena got up and came into the kitchen. Hi, and I made cheesecakes, remember? As before, in the dorm, smiled her friend. Today was a day off. The girls were going out for a little walk. Is it good? She asked when Selena took a bite. Mmm, the taste of childhood, rolled her girlfriend's eyes. It'll be fine, Maria promised again. They ate breakfast, 
and afterwards started to get ready to go outside. Shall we go to the park? asked her friend. They used to go there a lot when they were studying. There were various rides, swings, merry-go-rounds, all beckoning and frightening at the same time. And let's go on the catamaran. Maria shouted. She was already heading towards a small body of water. Good, Celine didn't care where she was going. She actually felt better with Maria's arrival. Until the evening the girls walked around, they had fun that Selina even forgot for a while what had happened in her life. It's such a shame that you have to leave, Selina said to her friend as they said goodbye. It's okay, call me, I'll always be there. Maria kissed her friend and went to the bus stop. Bye, Selina shouted after her. She went back home. It was lonely here again. She didn't know why she kept thinking about John. He had said so many mean things to her that she could hate him. But Selina loved him, so she couldn't do that. Why are you doing this to me? She took his picture in her hands. Naturally, she didn't wait for an answer. So she went to the bathroom. She had to go to work tomorrow. She needed to get some sleep. In the morning, she arrived at work. It was business as usual there. Selina left the office for a while. And when she came back, she saw two missed calls from her friend on her phone screen. Hi, she called her. Sorry to interrupt, Maria mumbled. No, she was just glad her friend was calling. Listen, I just remembered. We're going to a restaurant this weekend. Come with us, Maria said. Oh, would that be okay? Selena wanted to go, but she didn't know what those who would be there would think of her. Come on, practically everyone from school is there, her friend persuaded her. Okay, then I'll go, she finally said. Saturday at six then, Maria told her the time. Oh, I will definitely be, that I sit alone at home, there is at least some fun, she was sure of it. After talking to her friend, Selena perked up a bit. She thought she would walk home through the stores today. It would be both emotionally draining and fun. A new dress wouldn't hurt her one bit. Try this one on, the saleswoman handed her a beautiful cocktail dress. Yes, she took it. Selina tried on so many dresses, skirts and blouses that she was tired. She came home with a bag with the new dress in it. Her mood was high. The next day she went to work, she was very happy. Selina, if I did not know, I would think that you fell in love, said her colleague. Why? The girl did not understand. She sat down in her seat, began to move everything on the table. Your eyes are shining with happiness. The woman approached her. You know, I woke up this morning, and I thought, why suffer? John's out there living the good life, and all I do is shed tears. Maybe you should close the door to the past and open another one. To the present, Selena said with full optimism. And it's true, I'm so happy for you, she hugged her. Selena threw everything out of her husband's study that evening. She wanted to make it a room for herself. She ordered a big mirror, a sofa, a beautiful chair. By the end of the week, everything was ready. She had to change the wallpaper too. She looked around. Now the girl had her own room where she could make beauty. It helped to get John out of her head, too. So, are you ready? Maria called Saturday morning. Of course, she was just steaming her dress. Then that's it. No distractions, she hung up. Selina arrived at the place exactly at the appointed time. She saw that Maria was already there, waiting for her. Thanks for waiting, or oh, I didn't know how I was going to get in, Selina kissed her. It's okay, let's go. They walked over to a table where two people were already seated. Aubrey, Nancy, Selina rejoiced. There, and you were afraid of who would be. Who would be, laughed Maria. Okay, that's it, we're done. She waved her hand. They sat down at the table, made an order, and began to remember how and what was. A lot of laughter and words, it attracted attention to them from other visitors. You guys are having so much fun, a handsome young man approached them. Thank you, haven't seen you since we studied together, said Selena, she was smiling. Can I talk to you for a moment? He held out his hand to her. Sure, she stood up, 
looking at Maria with big eyes. Go, she whispered. Selena followed the young man. He headed for the exit. When they came out, he turned to her. Jack was the first thing he introduced himself. Selena, she blushed slightly. You were laughing so hard I couldn't help but approach. He looked at her so intently she couldn't stand the look. Thank you. So what did you want to talk about? She reminded him why they had come here. Oh yes, I think I've seen you somewhere before. He took her hand. No, you imagined it. She took her hand away from the manse. I'd like to socialize, he said at the end. You know, I'm married. Selina lowered her eyes and walked back to her friends. At least give me a phone number, he shouted at her. What's all this for? She turned to him. Selena, I really liked you. He looked into her eyes again. Excuse me, she walked over to their table. You what? She asked her friend when she saw her packing her bag. I'm going to go, she said it. And with a quick step, she headed for the exit. I don't understand. Maria stood and watched Selena walk away. On the same foot, she walked over to the table where the same young man was sitting. Excuse me, can I have a word with you? Maria walked over and said to him, Yes, what did you want? He stood up again and went to the girl. My name is Maria. I'm Selena's friend. She was worried. Why did she leave? What did you tell her? I'm Jack. I said I felt like I knew her. She denied it. We met. I asked for her number, but she said she was married and then ran away. That's the whole story. He looked at the door. She was not married. Her husband turned out to be a very bad one. He'd left her. Now she's been alone for a few months. Maria told him the truth. Maybe you can give me her number, and then I'll do everything myself, he asked. Of course I will. Even though she says she's married, she's suffering and wants love, she took the phone out of her bag. Thank you. I swear I will never hurt your friend if she is with me. He wrote down the numbers. It's okay. I believe you. She smiled at her new acquaintance and went to the girls. Selena was at home when her phone rang. The number was unknown, she picked it up. Selena, I'm sorry, it's Jack. He started to speak quickly because he was afraid she would get disconnected. Where did you get my number? She didn't understand. Maria gave it to him. He wouldn't lie. Good friend. Selena scolded her girlfriend, but at the same moment she smiled. Jack was cute. The girl really liked him, but for some reason she started thinking about John again. What if he came back and she was with someone else? Maybe we could get together, he asked the girl. I don't think that's a good idea. She couldn't answer positively because she was ashamed of herself. Why? He didn't want to end the conversation. I don't know. She was telling the truth. Well, let's sleep on the idea and I'll call you again tomorrow. Jack insisted on continuing the conversation. Okay, goodbye, she hung up. After that, she immediately dialed Marie. Friend, how could you do that? She asked her. What did I do? He seems decent, Maria simply stated. Yeah, he's already called me, Selena admitted. So socialize and forget your John already, Maria insisted. I can't, you know, no matter what he did bad for me, I can't get it out of my head. I just think he'll come back, Selena cried again. Stop crying. Give Jack at least a small chance, you'll get to know each other better. Then you'll draw conclusions, her friend didn't want her to cry. Okay, bye, thank you. Thank you for your help, Selena passed out. After that she sat down in front of the mirror and began to look at herself. The girl was tall, slender, dark hair flowing down her shoulders. Her eyes were sad, she blinked. A small salty droplet fell on the panel in front of the mirror. She wiped it away with her finger. Why do you make me suffer? She asked her reflection, though she was addressing John. Selena couldn't sleep that night. She tossed and turned for a long time, thinking about meeting Jack. In the morning, she was a wreck. Her whole body ached. It felt like a tank had driven over her. No need to go to work today. So she filled a bathtub for herself determined to relax a little. Just as she lay in the soft foam, the phone rang. It was him again. 
Hello, Jack, she said into the phone. Hi, how are you? He asked cheerfully. I'm fine, taking a bath, she said honestly. I wish I were here right now, he said dreamily. That's dreaming, boldly, laughed Selena. Believe me, I like you very much, he admitted to her. Okay, but we need to take some time to talk, to get to know each other better. She liked the way he spoke, the timbre of his voice. Whatever you say, no distractions, goodbye, I'll call again. The man was decent. Selena hung up the phone's side. Maybe she really should just screw him, that John. She even slapped the water, such was her mood. After the treatments it felt better, she even dozed off for a while. Selena spent the whole day at home, she didn't feel like going out. She watched movies and just lay on the couch. In the morning, when the girl came to work, she saw a huge bouquet of flowers on the table. She would like to believe that this beauty was delivered for her by John. But Selena was 99% sure that they were from Jack. A new admirer. A co-worker's guest. I don't know, she shrugged, not wanting to talk about it. Well, we'll find out soon enough, the women laughed. Selena sat there. The flowers had such a pleasant scent that she couldn't help but enjoy it. In a week, she had found a lot of things on her desk. Flowers, toys, gifts, but nothing she did or didn't do. Hey, she called herself on her day off. Well, finally, Jack was glad. Don't think about it. I'm calling to say it's all nice, but it's useless. She was sure of it. That we'll see, just as she believed him in his words. Well, I'm ready to meet and talk, she reassured the man. Unfortunately, it's impossible. I am now far away from the city where you are. Business, he sighed. Okay, when you arrive, call. She gave him a chance to meet, but only to talk about the impossibility of them being together. They would, he promised. Aye, why are you reacting like that? Selena is really spectacular. What could have happened in your relationship? Everyone wanted to know, but he couldn't tell them the truth. On the financial part, Things were not as good in John's life as he had dreamed they would be. The savings ran out quickly. John liked to eat out and go out on the weekends. Every month rent, where you had to pay not only the rent, but also the utilities, food, and all the other little things, took almost everything out of his pocket. Lend me some money, he asked his friend. You get such a good salary. Why don't you always have enough? He asked. Will you lend it or not? He insisted. Sure, he nodded. They always helped each other out. John didn't know what to do. He started thinking about Selena. There's an apartment of her own after all. She gets a paycheck, he'll bring it, and a bunch will form. But how to call her when he'd been hurting her for so long? He was in the kitchen that day, so he didn't see the phone ringing. When a couple of missed ones from his wife were discovered, however, he smiled and dialed her. Hi, he said, as if they hadn't seen each other for a day. John, and I thought you were ignoring me, she almost shouted into the phone. Selena, can I come over to your place, he asked. Sure, is something wrong? She asked worriedly. No, I just missed you, I want to talk, he lied to her. I'm always waiting for you. His heart was pounding in his chest, like it wanted to jump out of there. I'll be there in a couple days then, they ended the conversation with those words. Selena put the phone back on the shelf, her cheeks flaming, her heart still racing. She thought he couldn't live without her after all. Are you crazy? Maria screamed when Selena told her everything. He's my husband, I love him, she said honestly. You're an idiot, she sighed. Why are you insulting me? Selena couldn't understand why Maria wasn't happy for her because it's the truth. He just ditched you, didn't want to communicate, and now at any rate something happened. That's why he's calling you, a friend was sure of it. I don't think so, the girl was sure. Oh, do what you want, Maria did not want to argue with her, here, when you again step on the same rake, then you will realize that I was right. Okay, Selena didn't want to listen to anyone. Maria left, but John came in, 
It was such a joy for his wife. She threw herself around his neck, kissed him. He kissed her back, only reluctantly. Hello, she looked at him. Hello, he went into the room, saw that his office was gone. Sorry, I changed it to fit. Selena couldn't believe he was here again, next to her. It's okay, it's like he never left. In the evening Selena made dinner. The two of them sat in the kitchen together. John, I love you so much. I knew you would come back. She wanted to jump up and hug him again. Okay, let's eat. He picked up his fork. They started dinner. It seemed like a nice family, except John couldn't sit there. His conscience tormented him. I ironed everything for you. She pointed to the closet where she had hung and arranged the clothes. Thank you, he nodded. In the morning, the husband and wife left for work. Jack kept calling Selena, but she didn't answer him because she didn't want any provocation. Please call Jack and tell him that John is back with me and not to call again, she asked Maria. Okay, but know that I think what you did was stupid. Maria started accusing her again. That's it, thank you. Selena didn't feel like talking anymore. She passed out, she didn't talk to anyone. She sat in silence all day, even though her co-workers asked her what was wrong. After the workday was over, she went to the stores she wanted to please her lover. Was it a holiday? John was frightened when he got home. He thought he probably should have bought a present. No, it's fine. Just thought I'd throw a party for you and me, she smiled. Great, I'm hungry as a wolf. He ran his hand over his stomach. That's great. Go wash your hands and go to the table. She went back to the kitchen. Before John went to the bathroom to wash his face, he went into his room, which again he had asked Selena for. There he opened the nightstand and put down the money he had gotten today. Here, he brought his wife the leftovers. What's this? She was surprised. A bonus, he was happy. Thank you. She took the bills and put them in her pocket. They sat in the kitchen and were silent. Selena was afraid that she would start with something wrong. John couldn't think of anything to talk about. Did you miss me? His wife finally asked. Yes, he averted his eyes because it wasn't true. Neither did I. She wanted him to hug and kiss her, but John didn't even move. Thanks for dinner, he stood up. She couldn't believe she cooked so much today, stood at the stove, and he'd just eaten and gone. It was a shame. Yeah, I have to work tomorrow. I need to get some sleep. He was lying again. Jack kept calling. Selena didn't want to communicate. There was no development in their family with John. He came home from work as before and closed himself in his office. The only thing that comforted Selena was that he was here with her. I'd go to work. He'd leave in the morning. She'd just watch him go. Nine months passed like that. They lived like neighbors. Sometimes Selena cried, but she did it without her husband seeing. Were you crying? He'd come up to her. No, why would you say that? She made big eyes so he wouldn't notice. Bygones, he didn't want to know the details. Okay, she'd go to the bathroom, where she'd continue to shed tears. Why live like this? Maria asked her in their rare meetings. How? She didn't understand. He left, you cried. Now you are next to him. Nothing has changed, Maria concluded. Yes, I agree, Selena admitted. And then why all this? Did not understand the friend. I do not know. I love him. I cannot let go. Now the girl spoke a little differently. I see. Maria tightened her lips. What are you going to do? You see, the most frustrating thing is that I think I understand why he came back wanted to cry Celine. Tell me, was ready to listen to the interlocutor. I went to his room, looked in the nightstand, and there are stacks of money lying there. Why does he bring me these pennies? I do not ask, do not say that I need, and he gives and lies at the same time. All the same tears did not hold on the eyelashes. I see the money ran out, so she came running. Now, you don't have to pay for anything, Maria realized everything. And I thought the same thing. My friends continued to sit in the cafe and chat. Selena came home that evening. 
Somewhere in the back of her mind, she was already agreeing to the divorce. All that was left was to come to it. John was home, but he didn't even come out to see his wife. She went into the bedroom and never came out again that night. Selena, are you standing or sitting? Maria called her at the beginning of summer. Tell me, what happened? For some reason, her friend got nervous. I saw your John yesterday. Do you know who he was with? She asked. No, my hands were shaking. With some teenage girl, Maria almost shouted. Maybe you got it wrong. John's wife couldn't believe it. They were walking. He was holding her waist, laughing, kissing. I followed them to a cafe. If you want pictures, I can throw them down, a friend ranted. Selena couldn't live like that anymore. Every day she learned something new about her husband. The pictures were blurry, but you could still see the girl in them. She was really young, pretty. But Selena was not an old woman yet. Why had he traded her away? Why had she forgiven him for all this? I came, he entered the apartment. It was late, but Selena was sitting in the room, waiting for him. Why are you doing this to me? She asked him forehead to forehead when he first entered the room. Oh, you scared me, shuddered John. I asked a question. She looked at him and waited for an answer. How? He pretended not to understand. He came back for money, and now he's cheating, she said calmly. What? It was obvious that he was surprised how she knew all this. What he heard, she couldn't feel sorry for him anymore. Selena, you wanted me to come back. Here I am, standing in front of you. What are your complaints? He began to shout. I understand. The best defense is offense. She didn't look at him. What are you trying to do? He went to his room. Nothing. I just wanted to understand why. Why I deserve to be treated like this. She was crying again. What attitude? I have nothing for you at all. Yes, you're right that I came back for the money. But it's easier for you too. He opened the door and he wanted to come in. And you dare to tell me that so openly. She couldn't understand. What's wrong with the truth? He couldn't understand. Nothing, John. I understand everything. If you want, you can leave, she said. That's what I wanted to talk to you about, too. Why should I leave when we got this apartment together as a wedding gift? He stood there looking her in the eye. What? Selena's breath caught in her throat. Why, didn't she? He was waiting for an answer. Our parents borrowed it together, and then your parents refused to pay. So, my father paid everything. So the apartment is mine. She could not accept any objections. It doesn't change anything. I have to live somewhere too. He folded his arms across his chest and leaned against the wall. I can't believe you're the same John I met. She turned away from him. And you, are you the same? He asked her a counter question. I think so. She realized it was useless to talk. Do you want me to leave? He asked her bluntly. Yes, she herself couldn't believe she could say that. Okay, give me some time and I'll do it to make you happy. Don't think it's that happy for me, she told him. I don't think anything about you at all. At which point he just turned his back and walked away. Selena was crying in her bedroom. She didn't know what to do. She picked up her phone and dialed her friend again. If while she was married to John and everything was fine in the family, she didn't communicate with Maria so closely because there just hadn't been time. But now, they talked almost every day and it was nice. Girlfriend, what's up so late? Maria replied. I kicked John out, Selena said into the phone. What? Maria seemed to have been asleep before, and now she was awake. I told him everything straight. He didn't want to leave. He asked me to give him time, the girl said. Wow, and I thought you would never do it, was pleasantly surprised by Maria that act, which made the girlfriend. And here I am, took and did, Selena amazed herself. Well done. Now, the main thing is not to change your mind, Maria warned her. I think that will not happen, was sure of it, girl. She hung up the phone, went to bed. In the morning, she saw John packing a bag. It hurt that he didn't even say a word to her. Bye-bye, 
she sat at the table in the kitchen. Yep, he went out and slammed the door hard. Why is life so cruel? She put her head in her hands and once again cried. Maria was at her place that same evening. The girls were sitting at the table talking. Listen, when are you supposed to have a vacation? Asked her friend to Selena. I do not know, she thought, and indeed, she had not had a vacation for a long time. And that, go to the boss, say that you need a vacation, and fly to the sea for a week, Maria suggested. You're right, I need it now, Selena sat and looked at the kitchen aisle. Don't even think about it. Pack up and go, Maria advised. Okay, I guess that's what I'll do. The girl in her head had already made up her mind. The next day, she did indeed go up to the supervisor's office. According to the schedule, it turned out that her vacation should take place in two weeks, but the supervisor made concessions and let her go right away. After she signed the application, she immediately went to the travel agency. Hello, send me to a place where it is warm and nice, she asked the girl consultant. Now let's see, she began to look for information in the computer. There were many suggestions, but Selena didn't care. The main thing was to get away from here. Okay, then take this one, she turned the monitor to the girl. There was such a beautiful picture that she immediately agreed. Thank you, Selena paid and went home to pack her things. It was impossible to be at home, emptiness and grief reigned here. Selena was sure that she would go there, rest properly, come back with new thoughts and perhaps a different person. The trip took place three days later. Selena was sitting at the airport, reading a magazine and imagining how good she would feel very soon. Her plane was announced, she went to where she was invited. She slept through the entire flight, waking up when she was about to board. Welcome, she heard from all directions. Selena was pleased that everyone was so polite. She boarded the bus that would take her to the hotel. Hello, the receptionist spoke in Russian. He quickly formalized all the documents, and here she is already standing on the balcony of her room and in front of only the sea and the beach. Maria. You have no idea how beautiful it is here. I am happy, she called her friend. I'm so happy for you, and it was true. Okay, see the pictures. I will call you, she said goodbye to her friend. After that things were laid out, Selena was getting ready to go to the beach. She put on a swimsuit, tied a thin pareo on top, looked at herself in the mirror. A slim beauty looked at her from there. Great, she gave herself a tongue lashing. After that, she left the room, took the elevator downstairs. Not two minutes later, she was lying under the blazing sun, and in front of her was the warm, refreshing sea. Can I settle down next to you? She heard a man's voice. Yes, of course, she was not sorry. Did you arrive today? The same voice asked. Selena's face was covered by the hat, so she couldn't see her interlocutor. How did you know that? She pulled the hat away from her face. It's just that you're so pale, he meant the color of her skin. Ah, that Selene felt embarrassed for some reason. Her friend told her to go to a tanning salon, but she thought that she would get a good tan at the sea. Don't mind me, I'm not in reproach, said the man and went into the sea. Selena followed his example. It was nice when the water cooled her skin. She came to the hotel already in the evening. She was going to dinner, and then there was supposed to be animation. Hello, are you alone? A woman with a child approached her. Yes, you wanted to sit down. She guessed, because there were no vacant seats in the hall. Yes, may I? The woman was still standing. Sure, have a seat, she pointed to the empty seats. Why such a pretty girl and alone? Asked the new tablemate, who had already started eating. Sometimes you need to rest alone, Celine hated to say. Okay, I'm not annoying. She continued her meal. Thank you, was grateful to the girl. The evening was fun. Selena saw that there were a lot of people here. Children were running around, dancing. At some dance, Selena stood up to move around. Thank you, it was so much fun she said to one of the waiters as she left for her room. You're welcome, 
he said back to her. That night, the girl slept very well. The sea air and the active vacation had taken its toll. She wanted to lie down a little longer to look at the night sky, but sleep came quickly. In the morning, she woke up in a great mood. She went to breakfast and met the woman who had sat with her at dinner yesterday. Hello, and I have a place for you here. She pointed to the chair opposite. Thank you. Selena put her beach bag there and took a plate and went to the buffet. Good. The woman looked around. Yes, Selena agreed with her. The daughter is still asleep. I did not want to wake her up, admitted the interlocutor. Well, it's a good thing she didn't see at these breakfasts. Selena remembered how she herself didn't want to wake up very early just to eat. That might be true, the woman nodded her head. They sat for a while longer, and then the girl went to the sea. It was nice there, just like yesterday. Selena found a free place, took a sunbed. It was nice, but when it was time for lunch, she went back to the hotel. Selena changed her clothes and went to the restaurant. She took a free seat. As soon as she sat down, someone came up behind her and closed her eyes. Why make a joke like that? She took hold of the hands of whoever was standing behind her. To be honest, Selena thought it was the woman who was with the baby. Hello, whispered a male voice in her ear. Jack, what are you doing here? She was stunned to the core. How are you doing? It was like he didn't hear what she was asking him. I'm fine, but tell me, she looked around as if she might see something or someone. It's okay, let's go. He held out his hand to her. But I just got here. She didn't know what to do. Let's go somewhere else. He pulled her. Where? She didn't understand. You'll see for yourself. They walked between the tables. Then they went into a small bright room. There was a table set for two. Is this a VIP room? She was surprised. Don't you like it? He was smiling the whole time. I do, she nodded. Jack pulled back a chair. The girl sat down. What are we ordering? His eyes lit up. Did Maria tell you where I was? She still couldn't believe it could be a coincidence. Even if it was, what did it matter now? He looked at her gently and took her hand in his. Celine fell silent. She was actually enjoying this man's company. Here she thought she could afford to flirt with him a little. No one would see, and no one would know. After they had eaten, Jack took her hand again. And now I have a surprise for you. The young man smiled enigmatically. What? They'd only been around for a short time, but this was the third time he tried to surprise her. You'll see for yourself, they were heading towards the sea, but a little to the left of the place where Selena always rested. The closer they got, the clearer it became to her what he had in store. There were yachts on the shore, probably one of them Jack was going to take her for a ride. No, say it's a dream, she turned to him. Why not, he laughed, then walked over to one boat. The captain was already there. He set up a gangway, which Jack and Selena used to climb up onto the deck. You're incredible. Selena watched the waves gently sway, and they on them. Ordinary, he handed her a life jacket. What's that for, she tensed. It's the way it's supposed to be. By the rules, he smiled again. What a good time they were having that evening. They drank champagne, talked and laughed. I didn't realize I could sit like this with anyone else, she said quietly. Why? He wanted to get to know her completely. When I met my husband, I loved him, and I still love him, she didn't lie. You know, a lot of people may not be exactly what you think or imagine, he began to say for some reason. Have you been betrayed too? She guessed. You know, I don't feel like talking about it. He looked away. Selena realized that the man had been hurt by something in his life, too, so she didn't pry. They swayed on the waves. It was getting dark outside. Shall we go? He stood up and gave her his hand. Good, she followed him. They were in the hotel lobby. I don't want to overstep my bounds, but maybe you'll come up to my place? Jack asked. No. I'll meet you tomorrow for breakfast. She didn't want to give any excuse. Okay, to you tomorrow then, 
he walked over and kissed her cheek. Bye. She enjoyed talking to him. She went to her room, there she lay on the bed, remembering the touch of the young man. She remembered her feelings for John, they had already dulled a bit, or maybe it was because she was far away from him. Selene, she went downstairs and Jack was already waiting for her there, and again they sat in the lighted hall and had breakfast. Have you decided to spend all your money on me? She wanted to ask him that yesterday, but she was too shy to ask. For some reason, Selena felt like he wanted to impress her. What are you talking about? I do it all from the heart, Jack said. We're going on a city tour today, and I'd like to go sightseeing and shopping. So, let's go together, just the two of us. I have a car, the young man suggested. If it doesn't interfere with any of your plans, then I agree. She tilted her head a little and looked at him. I don't have any plans other than you, he stroked her arm. Then I'm with you. She realized he wasn't just going to let her go. That's great. Jack was really glad he hadn't flown here for nothing. After that time when John came home and Maria called him to let him know, he kept in touch with her. She told him how bad Selena was feeling. He wanted to come to her aid, to talk, to support her, but the girl convinced him that he didn't need to do that. When Maria suggested that Selena go on vacation, that was Jack's idea too. As soon as he found out where and in what hotel the girl checked in, he immediately rushed over. And now they are sitting on the beach together. He could not even dream of it. Tell me, where do you work? Selena asked, since they decided to recognize each other. Why not find out? I'm an executive at a big company, Jack said. Wow, so young and already an executive, she wasn't jealous, just surprised. My father used to run the place, but lately he just can't. He's been sick, he said sadly. I'm sorry, I hit a nerve, she was really embarrassed. Come on, let's go, or we won't make it till dark, he smiled at her and gave her his hand again. You're so thoughtful. With each passing minute, Selena began to catch herself thinking that she liked this man. They walked outside the hotel grounds. There was indeed a car in the parking lot that the young man put Selena in. They drove off. How do you know so much about this country? She was surprised when he kept talking. We had partners here that we cooperated with for a long time. He didn't hide anything from her. Understandably, she looked around Everything was beautiful and interesting. After a while, Jack pulled up in front of a store. Why this one? The girl wondered. Because it sells the most delicious tea, as well as handmade handkerchiefs, he opened the door and helped her out. Indeed, from the outside, the unremarkable store turned out to be a beautiful store inside. Try this one, he handed her one of the shawls. How beautiful! She felt how soft and pleasant it was to her body. I'm buying it, he told the salesman. This day was very good. Selena was grateful to her companion for the excursion and the gifts. All the days for which the girl had a voucher young people spent together. Jack never once invited Selena to his place again and did not ask for her. It was nice for her. That's it, I have to fly away. She told him on her last night, they were standing on the beach. Okay, when you land, right, he wasn't leaving until tomorrow. I will, but I can't promise we'll have it the same there as here. She didn't look at him. Why not? He was looking away too. Jack, I'm married, and even though we have a bad family relationship right now, John could come back at any time, she said quietly. Why don't you divorce him? After all, he has hurt you so much, he turned to her now. I love him, she didn't want to say it, but now Jack forced her to. What are your feelings for me? It can't just be that. He turned away again. Jack, don't make me say something bad that you won't like. She was being honest with him. The young man walked her to the bus and sat her down, touching her cheek in the process. Right, he said in her ear and released her hand. Selena got in, took her seat, and looked at the man who had treated her so carefully for a long time. As she drove, her phone flashed a lot. It was Jack texting, saying that he really wanted to continue communicating, 
that he would be waiting for her call or message. Selena did not answer anything. She did not want to give him empty promises. On the airplane, the girl, like the first time, slept the whole way. She got off at the airport and immediately wrote to the young man as promised. Maria, what did you do? She said to her friend when they met. Did you feel bad? She asked her. No, Selena felt ashamed. She lowered her head. What then? I think Jack is the perfect man and you're fixated on some John who doesn't love or appreciate you. Maria practically shouted. Maybe you're right about something. Her friend couldn't help but agree. They sat in the cafe. Selena showed her what Jack was writing to her. Maria read it and smiled. And what did I tell you? She snuggled up to her friend. Okay, he's back, he wants to meet, and I can't, the girl said bitterly. I can't, I can't, and I can't, Maria got angry again. That's it, stop talking about it. Selena couldn't help herself. She and her friend parted ways, both of them with their own opinions. Selena was still on vacation, she was walking home, not suspecting that another surprise was waiting for her there. What? She stood at the door, which was open. Selena pushed it open, quietly entering. The girl knew for a fact that she had closed it when she left. Selena, is that you? Came out into the corridor John, then almost brought his wife to a heart attack. You can't do that. She stood there looking at him with big eyes. I'm sorry if I scared you, he hugged her. What are you doing? She pushed him away. I'm sorry, you fool. I get it. It won't happen again. He kneeled in front of her. What kind of concept did you put on here? She couldn't watch it. What can I do to make you forgive me? He seemed willing to do anything. I'm not mad at you. She was afraid to look her husband in the eye. Come in. Why are we standing here in the hallway? He helped her with the bag he took from her hands. Thank you for the invitation. She walked into the room, seeing John's things lying in the closet. You don't mind, he followed her gaze. As long as you don't start acting like a fool, she walked to the kitchen. Her phone vibrated incessantly. She just turned it off so as not to give her husband a reason. That evening they sat with John in the kitchen, talking. He was bragging about something, but Selena didn't believe him anymore. She stared at him, not understanding why she could love him, but she didn't have the strength to leave him either. Jack, hello. She dialed him the next day. Selena, why didn't you answer and then turn your phone off? He asked her first. John's back, she admitted honestly. What? And you forgave him again and let him go? He couldn't understand. Yes, that's my husband. She didn't want to discuss it. Okay, let's meet. Just talk, Jack begged the girl. No, I can't. Then it wouldn't be fair of me. She walked to her office said goodbye to Jack, disconnected her phone. How was your vacation? Her co-workers asked. Great. She remembered how good it had been there with the young man. I congratulate you, a woman approached her. On what? Selena didn't understand. They say you have a new suitor. The colleague was surprised. Who says so? It became scary that Jack could take pictures of them. And now these photos have appeared somewhere. Maria, your girlfriend told me the woman didn't know what was going on. It's all her dreams. She's always trying to introduce me to someone. I have my husband back, Selena said in a tone that was impossible not to believe her. I see. I'm sorry. She sat back down. A message popped up on her phone where Jack was inviting Selena to lunch. She told him yes. She couldn't run and hide from him all the time. Five minutes before lunch started, she left the office, and a few minutes later, she was already at the cafe where Jack had called her. Hi, she walked over to the table where the young man was sitting. Hello, he jumped to his feet. I'm sorry I didn't answer. She was ashamed in front of him that she used to let him talk to her, take her hand, kiss her on the cheek, and now she just disappeared. It's okay, he ordered. What did you want to talk about? She was curious, although she assumed the topic of conversation. About us, he made no secret of it. There is no us, 
I told you my husband came back to me. She looked him in the eye. I don't believe you that it's all true, he ventured directly. Why did you want to interfere in my life? Yes, we spent time together, it was good, but as a friend, Selena was annoyed by this conversation. And if I told you that your husband is being dishonest, would you believe me? He leaned closer to her. What do you know about John? You're not the same person, or did you make inquiries? She was indignant. I didn't do any checking. Jack realized it was useless to talk to Selena. Thanks for lunch, I'm off. Don't call me again, she asked. You'll be sorry, Jack said after her. Is that a threat? She stopped. No, you'll just figure it out when you need to. Jack stood up too. He paid and walked towards the exit. I can't believe it. She walked the other way away from the young man. Selena arrived home. John was meeting her. It wasn't the same now as last time. Her husband was talking to her. They were even sleeping together. John, where have you been for so long? She stroked his head. Foolishly, he turned away and closed his eyes. Selena lay there, thinking. If her husband finds out about her connection with Jack, then he will definitely leave. He won't even ask. You won't leave again, will you? She pressed herself against him. But John didn't answer her. He was asleep or pretending to be. Selena saw that he had started putting money away again. He was giving her crumbs. But none of that mattered. The important thing was that he was home. The rest didn't matter. Selena, let's meet. I need to tell you something. Jack called her the next day. Thank you. You already told me everything yesterday. She was adamant. Please, he begged. No, the girl cut her off and hung up. Selena, why are you acting like a fool? Maria called her. He called you, she guessed. What should he do if he fell in love up to his ears and you with your John? Sheeta could not restrain irritation friend. What are you saying? How can you force a married woman to do something? She could not believe that for the first time in her life, her friend was not for her, but for some Jack. You're running around with your marriage like a chicken and egg. Your John will dump you again. Don't complain, she threw the phone down. Okay, Selena stomped her foot. Everyone was against her. I'll take care of this myself. Hello, Jack. Come to the same cafe we were at yesterday. She dialed his number. Great, she could hear that he was very happy. Okay, listen to me and don't interrupt. She put her hands on the table and leaned into him. Okay, he smiled. I have a husband whom I love. The fact that you and I spent time on the sea, it doesn't mean anything. I love someone else, and I live with him under the same roof. No one gave you the right to interfere. Now, our last conversation with you. Delete my number and never write or call me again. She was red while she was giving this speech. I hear you. Now listen to me. He stood up. I don't want to. She turned around and was about to leave. Do you know what your husband says about you at work? He shocked her with his question. No. What's that got to do with it? She was silent. She didn't know what to think. You're not economical. You don't do anything for him. You don't know how to cook. He began to enumerate. Where did you get all this from? She came very close to him. I am his boss, and believe me, I know a lot, he told her. No way, she sat down in her chair. Then, when you came to the corporate party, I went crazy. I couldn't think about anything but you. When I heard John talk about you, my fists clenched. He took a seat across from her. It wasn't true. She couldn't believe this man was telling her the truth. Even more so, he took her hand. What do you want? She looked up at him, tears forming in her eyes. I want you to see who your hubby really is. He'd sell his mother for money. Jack sighed and turned away. I know he's greedy for money, but not that greedy. Selena sat and looked at Jack with big eyes. She didn't want the tears to flow now. You know I'm right. Why can't you believe it? You had it once before. He came back because he was short of funds. He did it now for a reason. Jack stopped talking. You know something? She blinked, a tear trailing down her cheek. I know, he nodded. 
Tell me, she waited. I can't, I'm ashamed, he couldn't look her in the eye. What is it? She couldn't understand why, if they were talking about her husband, and Jack was ashamed. It involves you and money, he was silent again. I don't understand, how could I be involved in your affairs? She really didn't understand anything. Did your husband tell you that there was a vacancy in our management? He started to tell her. Yes, she nodded, but he said that he was being praised by his superiors and that the position would probably be his for merit. Every last word is not true. He came back to you because I decided to check him out. I agree that this is mean, but otherwise, I could not prove to you that he is mercantile, said the young man. I don't understand. Speak normally. She really sat there and looked like in school when they explain new material. Promise me you won't hold a grudge against me after what I tell you. He sat back, holding her hand and waiting for an answer. Okay, she nodded. She was both scared and curious to hear what this man was about to say. When a seat became available, several transfer applications were placed on my desk. As I looked through them, I was surprised to see John's application. He hadn't been working, compared to the others, for that long. Why should I have taken him? Jack began to tell me. And what? You called him in, she guessed. Yes, asked him why he was so keen to take a management position. Didn't he like it at his own place? He didn't deny it. He said he was living alone now. He lacked financial resources. His wife took away the apartment, filed for alimony to support her. I mean you. He had already lowered his eyes because he had let them lie to John. It's not true, and you know it. She was crying now, unashamedly. Yes, I know, but you don't. He looked at the entrance. There were people coming into the cafe. Go on. She decided not to pay attention to anyone. I told him I have an offer for him, and if he accepts it, the position is in his pocket. Jack admitted. What kind of offer? Selina had no idea what her husband would do for a position and money. I told him that if he convinces his wife to spend the night with me, I will immediately write an order for his appointment. He looked at the girl's reaction. What? And what did John say to you? She got back on her feet. Why do you think he came back to you now, since he didn't leave in peace last time? He waited for her answer. I hadn't thought of that. Selena sat back in her chair. And what? You believe me now? He couldn't even think that Selina might not. But John didn't offer me anything, and he didn't tell me anything. She knew it was nonsense, but she couldn't help it. Let's put it this way, I'm nice to you. Would you be able to build a relationship with me? He asked her forehead. I think so, she nodded, if her husband wasn't there. Yes, yes. How could it be without that clarification? He even chuckled a little. What were you going to say? She waited. I won't call you and ask for meetings until your husband offers you what I've asked of him. He approached her. And if he doesn't, she was still defending him. Okay, then nothing at all will happen. Otherwise, you pack up and come to my place and then we'll decide on our relationship. He was as if he was putting conditions on her now too. I can't rearrange myself like that right away. Selena stood up. She went into the kitchen to feed her husband. Hi, come into the kitchen. It was business as usual. They ate. After that for a while John closed himself in his room. Selina got ready for bed at that moment. She waited for her husband, but he sat down to watch TV after leaving the room. Selina never waited for him that night. She fell asleep. Why did you stay up so long last night? She asked him in the morning at breakfast. Needing to think, he didn't look at her. Today was a day off. Selina was going to do some cleaning. What are your plans for today? Her husband asked Selina. Nothing. What did you want? She hadn't heard him say that for a long time. To take you out, he reached out his hand, took his wife, and pulled her close to him. Wow. Why so generous? She was pleasantly surprised. Why can't I please my wife? He said simply. Why can't you? You can. She was glad that after such a long time, they would be together again for a walk or a sit down. Then be ready for tonight, he asked. Agreed, she nodded. 
and went to take a shower. By evening, Selina was indeed ready. She put on a nice dress. While John was getting ready, the girl decided to call her friend. Hello. She made sure John didn't hear her. Wow. Who's calling? Maria laughed. Enough already, Selina realized that after the last conversation, her friend had left a bad residue. Okay, what's up? She wanted to hear what Selina was gonna tell her today. John and I are going to the restaurant, she said quietly. What happened to him? I didn't understand her friend's generosity. I don't know. But if that's why I think you'll be the first to know, Selina began to speak in riddles. What's the quest? Even got curious to her friend. Later, just can't talk right now, she saw John leave the room. They went to an expensive establishment. There, the husband helped his wife sit down, doing everything he could to keep her from speaking. At one point, Selena found it funny. Do you want to ask me something? She began to bring him to the conversation. Not exactly, he blushed. Why the sudden concern? She couldn't understand it. Why can't I just go out with my wife? He made a surprised face. Okay, if that's true, she started eating the salad that was brought to her. Selena, what happened to our relationship? Remember how good it was, he said in a husky voice. I'd have to ask you, before you chased your fortune, everything was fine, and then you became a crumb, Selena said frankly now. That's not true, I did my best for my family, John seemed to believe what he was saying. Okay, let's not bring up the bad stuff, after all we're good now, she stopped his truthful outpouring. Okay, he raised his glass. What shall we talk about? She wished John was like he used to be, the same fun guy who made her laugh all the time. I don't even know if he was telling the truth, because lately he didn't know what to talk about with his wife. He's been going to bed later and getting up earlier to avoid seeing her. And now he decided to invite her here, thinking that she would start a topic and he would support her. Then I'll tell you how I had a vacation. She decided to share her memories with him. You went on vacation. He was surprised because when they lived together, they did not go anywhere. There was not enough money. Yes, I needed to get away from everything you told me. She looked into his eyes, waiting for a reaction, but there was none. Okay, let's eat and then go home. The evening doesn't end here, John suggested. They tasted all the food, and after that John started to pack. I thought we were going to spend a little more time here, she wondered. There's still a surprise waiting at home, he spoke cryptically. Okay, let's go, was Selena curious. They were home when John carried a large package out of his room. What is it? She couldn't understand. Look at it, he smiled. Selena opened the bag. Inside was laundry. Wow, John, she couldn't believe her eyes. Her husband had never given her a gift like this before. Just don't wear it tonight, sometime later, he asked her. Okay, she shrugged. For now, he took her in his arms and carried her into the bedroom. You what? Let go, she laughed. Okay, he put her on the bed. John, his wife looked at him. Be quiet, he said softly. When both were already in bed, John started telling Selena what he wanted from her. Look, you know how much I want this position, he told her in a whisper. What? She really didn't hit him at first. Remember I told you about the management position? He was away from his wife for a moment. Oh, you mean that she stopped talking. You know what the supervisor told me, that he wants to spend the night with you, he continued to say, and Selena's ears rang. She couldn't believe Jack was right. What did you say? She decided to finish the conversation. What can I do? He said, I'll ask you, he whispered in her ear. How? She sat up in bed and stared at her husband. Selena, you know how I've been dreaming of taking this place for a long time. Well, what should you do? Go to him for one night, he begged. Do you realize what you're saying? She couldn't contain her emotions. I also bought you beautiful lingerie, he nodded at the package, which just looked at the girl. You're crazy, selling your own wife to the boss, 
The scariest part was that Jack wasn't fooling her. Say, would it do you any good? He was still urging her on. It won't, but that's not how it works. Did you come back to do this on purpose? She pretended she'd figured it out on her own. You love me, and a woman who would do anything for her husband would do what he asked, and he meant it. Okay, so she took a shower, and then she got dressed in front of John on purpose. She wore the same lingerie he bought her, short dress, stilettos. You're gorgeous, and the best woman in the world, he told her. Yeah, call your boss, tell him I'm ready, she didn't want to do it herself. Right away, honey, he went to his room to get the phone. After he talked to Jack, he texted Selena that he was waiting for her in the driveway. Bye, love, she said wryly, and walked out. Hi, she got in the car. Wow, you're beautiful, he looked at her. Thanks, let's go already, the girl said nervously. So, how did he present it to you, the young man wondered. As you said, just said that if a woman loves, he will do anything for love. I couldn't stand it, I ran away, she cried. Does it hurt to be betrayed? He asked Selena. Yes, how could he think that I could agree, said the girl. Don't think and forget about him. Jack put one arm around her. Where are we going? She had to ask him, because she had to spend the night. If you want, we can go to my place, or I'll get you a hotel room, he told her. Okay, I agree, she looked at the man with gratitude. Then we'll go, and in a few hours you'll call your, as I think, already ex-husband. He looked at the girl, she nodded. They drank champagne in the room, talked, and then Selena dialed her husband's number. What, is it over already? John didn't understand. Yes, and now I'll come home, don't sleep yet, she asked him. You think I'm going to live with a fallen woman? He laughed into the phone. What, you're leaving me again, she said playfully. What did you think? I'll come back for more love. I don't need it. You did me a favor. That's enough. Now you can go to all four sides, he said and laughed at that. Now do you believe what your husband is really like? Jack asked when she hung up the phone. Uff, it's disgusting to even hold the phone after saying that she threw it on the bed. So, are you going to apply tomorrow? He asked Selena for the umpteenth time. Yes, but what is it? He will now be in chocolate, and about me to think that I can lie with anyone. She did not understand it. What do you think? I can hire a man who will do anything to get a money place. He even stood next to her. What are we going to do? The girl was curious. I'll tell you everything tomorrow. Now go to bed. He kissed her and left, promising to come back in the morning. John was going to work today in a very good mood. He put on his jacket, pants, polished his shoes, and went outside. When he got up to the office, he went straight to his boss. Jack, may I? He looked in at him. He did, he replied. When John entered, he almost fell from surprise. His wife was here. I filed for divorce, she said. Well, what are you doing here? He asked. This is my future wife, love and respect, Jack said. What? What's he saying? We've been together once, and that's it. We're already married. What are you, a husser? He laughed at him. I don't see anything funny. Here are your papers. I won't detain you any longer. Jack gave him everything he needed. You have no right. I will take you to court, he shouted. Goodbye. The warden looked at him calmly. She was the one who said that about me. In fact, everything is not true. He was still trying to justify himself. That's it. Closed the door, Jack. Thank you. Selena walked over to him. She was so grateful to this man for opening her eyes to her husband's true nature, for being so reverent. No matter what she did, no matter how much she blew him off, he waited. Will you marry me? He handed her the ring. Were you getting ready? She tried not to laugh, but she couldn't. If she had, it didn't change anything. He was confident. Okay, she took the ring. Then we'll wait for the annulment certificate to be issued and go file the application, 
He was very serious. I'd go to the ends of the earth with you, they hugged. The wedding was gorgeous. A lot of people were invited. All the staff were there too. Congratulations, they shouted with glee. I'll definitely congratulate you now. The same co-worker came up to her. You can do it now, she smiled. How did you get such a tidbit? The woman asked. If my husband had been decent and loved me as I loved him, Jack and I would never have been together, she believed. It's understandable. People were happy when they saw the couple. By now, Selena was no longer working anywhere. Her husband was against it. John still wrote to her for a long time, threatened, but when she stopped responding to these messages, he calmed down. Beloved, and where will we go on a trip? She asked. How about to our place where we spent so many happy days? He asked her. I agree, she hugged him and kissed him. A couple of weeks later, they were already sitting in an airplane that was on its way to land. Again, six unforgettable days in paradise with her lover. Listen, why didn't you have children? Her husband asked Selena. You see, John always said that first career and then the children. I did not argue because I believed it was obvious that she did not want to talk about these topics. Don't worry, we'll catch up. He pulled her close. And I'm not worried. When such a man is near, then you cannot think and do not worry. Good, he believed that everything would be fine. They'd been married over a year and Selena still hadn't gotten pregnant. Maybe I have some kind of disease, that's why I can't conceive, she asked. What are you talking about? He couldn't understand why she was so fixated on this. Maybe, for your comfort, we can take a baby from an orphanage, her husband asked her. Okay, that thought had crossed my mind too, she was kind of relieved. They went to see the kids. Mommy, mommy, they screamed. Oh, I can't, cried Selena. Her husband led her out into the hallway. It's okay, he hugged her, calmed her down. Let's go home, asked the girl. At home, they discussed the situation. It turned out that the girl could never look at those who were once abandoned. Jack, I don't feel well. Selena didn't let anyone sleep last night. It must be the effects of stress, he supposed. I don't know why that is, she was curling up. Jack didn't wait, he called an ambulance, they came quickly. Selena was there, Jack beside her. So, Dad, did you wait? Raised the doctor's eyes to him. Is that what I was thinking? Only the young man didn't jump up and down. Hush, hush, you'll be parents soon, he led him out into the hallway. Selena had been sedated. She was sleeping peacefully now. My love, I don't believe in what we have with you. You had to go through so much and go through so much to wait for such happiness. At that moment, Selena opened her eyes. What's wrong with me? She looked at her husband with horror. Sweetheart, we're about to have a little one, he told her. It can't be. She pulled herself up and hugged him. Lie down, you have to be very careful now, he warned her. Everything will be all right, she saw how much he cared for her. They arrived home the very next day. Jack was by Selena's side everywhere, and she appreciated his actions. One day she went for a walk, her husband was at work. She was walking down an alley, and suddenly, a man walked quickly towards her. Selena did not expect anything bad, but he ran up and pushed hard, the girl fell. Already at the last moment, she saw how the offender looked back. It was John. Jack, come, she called her husband. What's wrong? He knew right away everything was wrong. John wanted to do something to me. She said it as if her life had been attempted. A few minutes later, Jack was home. He examined his wife. She was fine. I'll probably go to the hospital. It's safe there, Selena asked her husband. Okay, just not in this town, why give birth where everyone knows each other? He took Selena to a good paid clinic where she was placed in a private room. If anything happens, call right away, he told his wife. Of course, they kissed. Everything started early, the doctors thought it was due to nerves, and Selena tried to hold back and not think about the worst. Breathe, it's okay, 
the doctor told her, and Selena was afraid. A baby boy was born, and he was weak, because the due date for labor was not yet approaching. But as a couple months passed, the young parents went home with him. Sam lifted his son Jack above his head. And I want a daughter, Selena said. She loved watching the father drive his son around. You'll have a daughter, I promise. Her husband couldn't believe he'd gotten everything he'd ever wished for. He was sitting in his office at work when the janitor came in. Where's Emma? He asked the employee. I don't know, he mumbled. Good, Jack didn't bother him. He decided to stay out of the way and walk out. When he was at the door, a knife stabbed him in the back. What are you doing? He turned around and saw John. Jack was taken to the hospital. He was in a coma for a week. The operation was done. After that, the young man was conscious, but could hardly speak. Beloved, John had been taken away in custody, cried his wife at his bedside. Enki, he agreed. That's it. He wouldn't touch anyone now. She had been inconsolable when she was first informed that her husband had been spiked in his own office. I love you, Selena whispered. Go home. Sam misses us there. He said it with just his lips and also his eyes, but Selena understood. She kissed her husband and drove to where her second favorite man was waiting for her. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Subscribe to the channel. Like it, write comments if you like the story, and see you on the channel.